So I was waiting for an Uber order the other day, and it was taking forever. I was just sitting there, waiting for someone to even look at me, let alone serve me. And so I just started looking at some YouTube and trying to pass the time. And the time just keeps ticking, and it's still not coming. And I look up, and I see this little sign, and it says, Please wait in a moment. In a moment. So I can't start waiting yet. I've got to wait for that moment where I can start waiting. So I'm waiting to wait. And of course it was a typo. I mean, it was just bad grammar. That was a Chinese restaurant. It's funny like that. They always, they often come up with these funny little statements like that, where they're trying to say something, but they say something else, which is kind of the same, but it's, it makes no sense. Like, please wait in a moment. So I got here to pick up a delivery and I walked in, right? Oh, look, they've locked it now. But anyway, I walked in and they told me to wait outside. No, they told me to go through the drive-thru, right? They said go through the drive-thru because you're not allowed to walk in, right? And I said, okay, so I went to the drive-thru. Look, it's around here. I'll show you. So I went to the drive-thru. Oh, look, it's empty now. That's convenient. Look, there's another car coming though. So I stood here for a while. And it was raining, by the way. So I'm getting rained on. I'm standing here in a freaking drive-thru. But I wasn't at the front. I was at the, um, I was in between two vehicles, right? So I thought, dude, this is a bit dangerous. I'm standing here in between two trucks and plus it's raining, which sucks. So I looked up the law. I just typed legal walk drive through and it came up with all this stuff saying it's not even legal for me to be standing here because I could get squashed, right? It's a hazard. And so anyway, when I, when I read that, I, w I went back inside and I told that... See that one standing there in the red, with the red hair? Look, we'll zoom in. That one there. Oh, oh look, we can see it through this. See that one just there? That's the one. She was so rude. She's like, you can't be walking in and out through here. You got to go to the drive through right? And then when I said, no, nah, it's actually illegal. What are you talking about? Then she said, oh, but we have rules saying you can't walk in here before 6 a.m. Oh, here she comes. Hi. One. All Thanks right, in future, mate, if you don't have a vehicle, you need to come in business hours, all right? Let's get ready to rumble! Well, they shouldn't have, like, called me in because they know, it says on the app what I'm using. Yep, I don't know why, to be honest. But okay. In, at night time, if it's not me, I can't have my girls running back and forth out here to give you the food. I, I'm actually a regular pickup from here. I come here every day and I've never heard that rule. I come in, like, I just sit on that table in the corner and they just bring me the food. It's never been an issue. Yep, uh, between the hours of 12 and 6, especially when I'm here. So when you've got a mail manager, he's probably a little looser on the rules. Well, but obviously, it's a safety issue. We've got a lot of interesting characters around here. Yeah, as, as which is why the door should be locked. On the topic of a safety issue, though, it's actually that's why it's illegal to stand in the drive-thru. Yep, yep, I completely understand. I didn't understand what yeah. you were writing at the time. Okay. I completely understand. That's why I said maybe not between twelve and six because if I can't have you go through the drive-thru, but if it's not me personally, I cannot have my girls coming and running food to you out here. Well, isn't it all right if I just wait in the, on the I table I can't there? have you in there because safety issues, because we're cleaning and things like that. We're liable if something happens inside. Okay. So my bosses tell me that I'm not allowed to have you in there between the hours of 12 and 6. So if I come early, I'll, I can just bring a car and then I'll be all right. As long as you're in a car or something that can come through the drive-thru, right. you're fine. All right. Sorry. No worries. Just... 
like I said, the male managers are probably looser with it, but obviously someone comes in and sees me as opposed to one of our larger male managers, that's more likely to be a problem with me. Okay. And I do have lots of young girls, especially in the morning, that I'm not going to uh, have running food out to you. Just, but you know I'm not like a yeah, troublemaker. Yeah, not you so. personally. We get a lot of people that, you know, probably not the best to say that are on stuff that just hang around. Yeah, wait for the store but just on a personal level, like, if it's all right for me to talk with the other manager, why can't you just recognize I'm not a threat or anything, No, no, you know? it's not you personally. Like, for example, yesterday... No, I, know, I know it's not me personally, but I'm just saying, me as, like, a regular, couldn't I just come in so I don't have to bring my car? The only thing I can say is that, you know, those other managers are up in here a lot longer than me. They probably have more leeway to bend the rules. Okay. And like I said, the doors are meant to be locked. I'm actually well, maybe you can speak that. to them and ask them if it's all right, and then I, I mean I won't do it next time. I'm just saying if they say it's all right, then maybe I could in the future. Like I said, I'm just the one that's really strict on the safety. Right. Obviously, if something does happen, if a customer comes, and it's just a suggestion. There, I'm not saying you have to, but no, if no, you want, maybe you're in the future you could you're ask them. That's, like I said, it's just a suggestion yeah. as well to me because yeah, if you get someone running out food that's not me specifically, yeah. right. I'm going to tell my girls they can't come. All right, that's cool. Just obviously for safety and just yeah, the no area, worries. not great. Nothing personal towards you. Yeah, no, it's all right. I understand. And, you know, you get the customers come through that will see you in there and go, hey, why are they allowed in there and yeah, not okay. me? And then I've got to deal with that problem. And that usually turns into a physical argument 90% right. of the time as well. Okay. So it's nothing personal no, to that's you, right. man. It's just i got to look out for the safety of the 14-year-old kids I've got working. Yeah, no, that's all right. I understand. Thanks. All right, man. thanks. Yeah. Oh, she was pretty nice, I guess. But, yeah. I was about to, um... I didn't know what I was going to do, because I was, I was waiting for like 20 minutes out here, and I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do, right? Because the food, when it's ready, it's ready. But when it's not ready, then you're just waiting. So what am I going to do? Be standing in the drive-thru between two cars... And then when it is ready, let's say it's ready, then I'm still just waiting for these cars, which take forever to get through. And if it's not ready, by the time I get to the drive through window, then I'm just standing there like an idiot. Like, what do I do now? Go back behind the next car? Go back to the start of the line? You know what I mean? It's just a silly situation. But anyway, we got a McDonald's. What do we got? Oh, four bacon and egg McMuffins, eight hash browns. And the Sherman. Now we're in Hungry Jack's, guys, and we're doing the same thing. I couldn't get in. I haven't even spoken to anyone here yet. And all the doors are locked, so now I'm in the drive-thru and I'm hoping look I can see my order there I mean I'm hoping it is I don't know if it is let's zoom in I can't see it. let's see if the phone lets me read it oh you can't quite can't quite make that out oh yeah ODE51 is that what it says let's look at my order see if that's the right one Yes, OD61 is the one I've got. Pretty cool. Because you can't see that with the naked eye. Well, I couldn't at least. And I could just read it with my phone. The zoom telescopic lens. ODE61. So it is the right order. It's just you've got no, nobody to talk to. I oh, hear Come on, grab us the order. Grab it. Oh, it looks like maybe there's another one there. Maybe that's why they're not handing it to us. Hey, uh, ODE61. What? ODE61 for Uber. Oh, sorry, this is the bit. It's that one now, I think. Yeah, all right. Car as well? Um, I do, not far from here, but I do my, like, 
I've, I'm signed up as Vice to Anchor, so... Okay, because um, I didn't know you were even here because generally they cast come through drive through and the things. Oh, okay. So I knew he was here, but I didn't know you were here for this one. Oh, I see. So generally next time if you can go grab your car, because I'm not actually even oh. meant to give you the order if you don't have an automotive vehicle. Oh, okay, because normally... <clears throat> Like when I come in earlier, like when it's not open, they would just open the door and I wait inside. Is that all yeah, right? Yeah, normally that's fine. Yeah, but we're oh. still have to drive to at the moment. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, it's thanks for that. Here we go. We've got two bags of hungries. Oh, look, we've got two scooters up here. Two of these bad boys. Living out here in the on the street, street kids. I, I knocked one over by accident the other day. I like went a bit too close to it, and it caught on my bag. Knocked it down. Sometimes you see them all lined up, and they're all they've all fallen over because you knock one over, or not me, but someone else does, and they fall over like dominoes. But anyway, let's. Just put that in my bag. That's how we do it. So it started, let's see how far we gotta go. Oh, not far at all. All right guys, it's gonna wrap it up. I thought, let's just talk about something at the end here, instead of just abruptly ending the video. Um, well, I'm enjoying Uber still. I've already been doing this for like, I don't know, probably two years now. And I'm still not bored of it one bit on my EUC. If I had to do it in a car, then I'd definitely be bored of it. Even on my electric skateboard, I got bored of it. I talked about this in a video a little while ago. That when I first started doing Uber, it was actually on an electric skateboard. My first ever shift was on the Metro board Slim. It's actually a big fat board with like 80 miles of range. And I really loved it when I first started. It quickly got boring. Very quickly. Within two weeks, it felt like a job. Two weeks. Are you waiting for the order? Yeah. With my EUC, I've been doing this two years now. Still not a job still just as fun possibly even more fun sometimes i get up and i'm like yeah i'm really keen to go for a ride super early and get paid and then sometimes i might feel a bit groggy because i didn't sleep that well the day before and i'm getting up at like 5 a.m but you know that's normal but it doesn't get boring this this machine somehow just keeps its novelty so yeah, that's a um, little update on that. How many miles have I done now? I think, or kilometers. I've done like 25,000 kilometers in total, EUC riding. All EUCs combined. You know, I got three EUCs. I got the Sherman OG Max and the 16X. Between those three wheels, I've done 25,000 kilometers. And the fun factor has not dropped one iota. Nothing. It's the same. I mean, it's more fun, if anything, like I said, because you get better at riding and it just gets more fun. Even doing this work, and to be honest, while I'm working, riding, doing Uber Eats, it's more fun because I'm getting paid. So in the back of my mind, I just know that, oh shit, I'm getting paid for this. So it adds something to the experience. It adds purpose, I guess, but just knowing that makes it more fun because it's like, yeah, this is awesome. So, yeah, let's hope this stays this way forever. I can do this Uber Eats till I'm dead and then retire straight to the grave. Direct. I can perhaps even roll straight into the grave on my EUC and just lay there and say, that'll do. Thank you very much. On to the next life, the next dimension. And on that topic, 
I'm going to start putting out videos in the future that are not fully EUC related or maybe not at all, but that's super interesting because I've got philosophical topics that I want to talk about that are super interesting, guys, relating to that very thing, the afterlife. And I won't say too much now. I'll just wait till they go up. I've got some awesome topics, guys. So, yeah, hopefully that'll be that'll work out well on this channel. Because, you know, it's an EUC channel and if you upload stuff that's not related to your topic, sometimes it doesn't go down well with your subscribers. So it'll be a little experiment, I guess. And yeah, wait for that soon. All right, guys. Peace.